Here are a few different types of fractions that we're going to change into decimals. These are done a little bit differently. To change something to a decimal, the denominator has to be tenths or hundredths or thousandths. The denominator has to be one of these numbers. It has to have a one with a bunch of zeros after it. These are decimals. Let me get rid of that. And this first one is already in decimal form, four tenths. Three and four tenths. That's the way you say that, four tenths, and so that's what it is. On this next one, we actually have to do a conversion. We have to make the five into tenths. Can five go into ten evenly? Yes, it can. We multiply by two. Two times two is four, so the answer is five and four tenths. This last one's a little bit trickier. If I put 10 down here, 8 times something is 10, that doesn't work. How about 100? 8 times something is 100? No, nope, doesn't go in evenly. How about 1,000? No, 8 doesn't go into 1,000 evenly. So <clears throat> what I have to do is make this a division problem. And the way I'm going to do that is I'm going to put the 8 as the divisor and the 3 as a dividend, and I'm going to put a decimal point after the 3 where it belongs, and I'm going to add some zeros onto here. I can change any of these fractions into decimals using the same method right here, but th on these two it's easier just to do it the way I did it. Now what we're going to do here is put the decimal point straight up, and I do the division problem just like you see. This bottom number always goes on the outside, the top number always goes on the inside. All right, 8 goes into 30 how many times? 8 times 3 is 24. Subtract and get 6. Bring down the 0. 8 goes into 67 times. That's uh, 56. Subtract and get 4. Bring down the 0. How many times does 8 go into 40? 5 times with no remainder. So 3 eighths is equal to 0 0.375.